Okay, so in this video demonstration, I am going to show you how to create an alpha mask in Photoshop in the channel of an image. This will allow you to mask out certain spots of a texture and pretty much create detail on anything with the texture or layer something over a texture. Um, it'll become apparent when I show you in the demo what this is, and it's really actually easy if you think about it. Uh, well, after you see what I'm going to do here. So we're going to create a polygon plane one by one in the subdivision so it's basically just one polygon okay I'm gonna select it I'm gonna right hold down right mouse button go down materials assign new material and I'm gonna put basically just another Lambert another dull shader and attribute editor is gonna open I'm gonna call this alpha texture because this basically is the texture that I'm gonna use this is the material that I'm gonna use to apply the texture so there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to select my material attributes where it says color. I'm going to go over across the slider. The checker box is that's how you map an image into the color channel. This is a channel. I'm going to click that. I want to do a file. It's a digital image file. And it's going to go image name and have an empty box. And it's going to have a folder to the right of that where it wants me to browse for the image. So I'm going to click the folder. My image is on the desktop. It's a logo. In Photoshop, it's saved as a .tga. In the file format in Photoshop, it's at the very bottom above TIFF. It's called a Targa. Targas just are used for textures and games and all that. And they work really well in my end game engines. So there's my logo, Targa. Come on. Okay, I'm going to import it in on the material. And there it is. Now, the idea of the alpha mask is I have one polygon here, and you're like, wow, you know, I don't have enough detail or whatever just to make it small, just to fit around these letters. Like, say I just wanted the letters to put over a sign or move on the ground, you know, for whatever I wanted. But I don't want this whole polygon around them. Say I want to just remove this entire polygon behind all the letters. You're like, how can I do that? I can do that through an alpha mask. I'm going to go in Photoshop. I already have my image open that we've placed on there, the color map image. Same image with texture we just put on. Okay. I'm going to, you're going to go and you're going to go window, channels, and make sure you're looking at your channels. I'm looking at them right here. Red channel green channel, blue channel, all of them. We're not really going to focus on those. We're going to go to the little arrow up here. New channel. Alpha 1, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave all the settings. That's it. That's my alpha. There's nothing on my alpha. There's nothing right here saying what should, you know, what should be revealed. It's actually all black and all black hides everything. It's complete transparency zero visibility. White reveals and then all the shades of gray in between kind of are semi-transparent. You can make really nice fades with that. Like if I save this with this alpha like it is here, solid black, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna save it right over logo and here's the targa down here. Right above the TIFF targa. Save it. Make sure alpha channels is checkbox. You definitely want to save out the alpha channel with it. 32 bits per pixel. That helps it contain the alpha information. I'm going back into Maya. I'm going to click on the input there. I'm going to reload it. And it should. Let's remap it. Yeah, there we go. And now the polygon's there, but obviously you can see it's completely invisible. Even when I look in my material window, everything's invisible, which is really awesome. Now you realize the power of what we can do. Let's go back in Photoshop and get this done quick. All right, so I need to make it to where the Lucid Designs thing shows through, but I don't have any information here to do that or anything. So I go up to my color channel. I'll use this marquee tool, which is awesome and just basically just click in the dead area select the inverse and it'll select it now I have it all selected in the color channel I'll just click on my alpha channel go down there 
Yay, I got my selection. I'll fill that with white. Paint bucket that bad boy white. Now as you can see, I need to go back to my color channel and all those little holes in the letter. I need to, and actually if we have the color channels and the alpha channel showing, you can kind of see what you're, what's masked and what isn't. The, uh, the red area is the pinkish looking stuff is masked out. So it's transparent. The stuff that you still see in color and clear and is not affected by the red pink, it's real simple. That's the stuff that, um, that's the stuff that you're going to see. So we'll go back down to our alpha channel, make sure I'm on it. I'm going to fill it with black, fill those holes. There we go. That's our mask right there. The white mask is going to show. The black part of the mask is going to hide. So we just go back. It looks normal. It just has an extra alpha channel. Save as. Save Targa. Make sure alpha channels is checked. Replace it. 32 bits. Yep. Okay. And we're going back into Maya. Now things are going to change a little. Obviously the reload function is, okay, wants to be a pain, but now it worked that time. And wow, there you have it, dude. No one would guess that this is one polygon, you know. And when we render it, in the render it should just be that the Lucid Design shows through. And this is, they do, um... I'm not really sure nowadays with next generation technology, the next gen consoles, they're probably not so much. I'm sure there's still a lot of companies doing it, but it used to be heavily used, this alpha masking. Um, it used to be used to like, if you had a fence running along and they didn't want to have all the geometry and polygons for an entire fence, all the little chain links, they would just run one single long polygon plane along it, put a texture, a metal texture on there, and then just alpha mask out the holes where it's transparent outside and here you go in the render you can see it it's pretty kick butt um, I honestly used it myself in uh, you can see alright it's flat like this I had a ground in my game levels I would make and I would have palm trees coming up like this you had a palm tree leaves up here and a base that come down to here and I wanted a shadow under the palm trees so I basically just made like a black filled square in Photoshop and then just faded out the edges so it just looked like an actual shadow under the palm tree. It was such a trick and it only used one polygon and it used a texture that was probably like a 64 by 64 texture you know super small image size. That's basically alpha masking.